everyone. So when I was a kid, one thing I absolutely loved to do was to build jigsaw puzzles. And then as I got older, I just kind of drifted apart from it. But recently I decided I want to do that again. I missed that passion that I had for building puzzles. And so after a few puzzle videos showed up on my YouTube recommended, I watched and I was like, yeah, that's definitely for me. And I decided to go out and get one. So I hit up the charity shops and I had told myself, Malika, stick to something 500 pieces or under to ease yourself into it however i saw this which has 1000 pieces but is so my kind of design because i'm quite picky and i was going through the puzzles and seeing what's sort of like landscapes nature photos animals and it just don't really appeal to me whereas this this absolutely appeals to me so this is day at the festival by big potato games I love big potato games because they make a lot of board games, which are really, really fun sort of party style ones. And this one, the trick is each image depicts a different band and there's 101 different like bands or artists to find within the puzzle. I really love that art style. You can see it's kind of like cartoony, but not in like a comic-y way. And yeah, it, I just thought it'd be really, really fun. So I decided, why not? Let's get it. 1,000 pieces to start with. What could go wrong? <laughs> um, but yeah, let's see what it looks like inside. So inside we've obviously got the pieces, but we've also got ah, but we've also got this. So this is like a little poster to introduce the puzzle, and it also has the puzzle design on it. On the back, it does have space to fill in the bands, but because I got it from a charity shop, it's already been done. So let's not look at that so we don't get spoilers. But having this full image is really, really useful because the box is square, so you don't really have the um, side of the image unless you turn the box, which isn't really practical. So having this will be really, really useful. And then the pieces, th these feel like really good quality, and just listen to that sound. I, lo I love the sound of puzzle pieces, that's amazing. But yeah, these are the, the pieces, the piece quality, they're pretty thick, pretty decent. They feel really nice and glossy, really like the feel of them. But yeah, let's get cracking. There we go, I've now sorted out all of my edge pieces. I didn't want to waste time putting them together, although these ones were like practically next to each other so I couldn't help myself but do it. But now I'm going to put the edge together and sorting them out took about 14 minutes. So it seems I did a spectacularly bad job of sorting the pieces as I have a lot of, uh, of missing edge pieces. But we'll work from here, I'm now up to 33 minutes total. So I've been at it for just under two hours now, and I'm making pretty decent progress, I reckon. Um, these are sort of my process for sorting, I've got some other boxes with them in as well. But yeah, making decent progress, excited to see how it turns out. So this is where I'm at for day one, this is two hours 40 in. I'm quite happy with the progress, I think I'm on track for my goal of under six hours. But we'll have to wait and see, I've got all my pieces stacked in various boxes. But yeah, looking forward to continuing it. I'm just over three hours in now, and I'm really, really happy with my progress. I think I'm very much on track for under six hours, but we'll have to see how it goes. So here is the completed puzzle. It took me five hours and ten minutes, roughly, which I'm really happy with. Well under the six hours I was aiming for. And you can see there's loads of really fun details. The colours are lovely. The quality is really, really good. Um, one thing I will say is although the quality is good, the pieces don't really stay together very well. Um, you can sort of see them sort of starting to rip like that. And then when you're picking up like one or two pieces at a time, they just kind of come out and... Well, it's, apparently it wants to um, trick me on the video, but I promise when I was building it, if I was trying to move the sections around, they didn't really want to go. But it's really fun building it, and it's really fun at the end, like working out who the bands are. So for example, you've got Led Zeppelin there, you've got the Red Hot Chili Peppers, you've got Alice in Chains, and there's so many like different bands around. One of my favorite ones, I was working out for a little while, I was seeing these two little like Eskimo chimps, and I was like, Eskimo chimps, and I worked out Arctic Monkeys. So yeah, it's been really fun working out the different bands. See if, I'm gonna put an image up on the screen, and you can pause it and see if you can figure out some of the, uh, some of the bands on here. But yeah, really, really happy with the final build. So, overall, I really enjoyed this puzzle and I'm very glad that I picked it up because even though it was a challenge at 1,000 pieces, it was a lot of fun to do. I, I had a great time doing it. It definitely reignited that passion for puzzles. I was doing a couple of hours at a time and I wasn't feeling bored or like want to do something else. So yeah, this was the perfect one to get me back into it 
really, really glad I did it. Definitely recommend it for people who are after a fun challenge, who want to do a puzzle that's a little bit different from the usual styles of puzzles you see, and also that has a game for you to do at the end. I also feel I learned a lot about just building puzzles in general. I think I need to get better at utilising the space, so I'm thinking of getting some like little bits of like cardboard or something to put the pieces on, because where I had it, I was like putting them in different um, board game box lids that I had, and it was just kind of tricky to like slide them around, to fit them around. When I first pulled the pieces out, I got the edge pieces out and didn't sort any of the others and didn't flip them. So I think in the future, I'm going to pour everything out, sort the edges, and then flip everything out and, and like sort it into different sections, different colours and stuff. I think that will help me out um, a lot better. Also, I noticed that it was really hard, so I was building mostly in the evenings at night and having the artificial lights on, which is pretty dull in my place, they're not particularly bright, it was really tricky, it was causing a lot of glare, I couldn't really see very well. So I think if I could try and do it in natural light, it would be a lot, lot easier. So I might have to think about adjusting my puzzle setup. But yes, overall, fantastic new hobby for me, I think, and definitely recommend this puzzle for anyone thinking of trying it out. Thank you very much for watching, please do like the video, drop a comment down below to say which bands you managed to find, and please subscribe to the channel for more fun videos in the future. Bye bye.